All right, we're, all right, we're going to check out the Parker Dam today. So it should be a lot of fun. So as usual, please check out my video, and we'll see you in a second. The Parker Dam is a concrete dam that crosses the Colorado River between California and Arizona. It was built between 1934 and 1938. The dam is 32 feet high, 235 feet of which are below the riverbed, making it the deepest dam in the world. The Parker Dam's primary functions are to create a reservoir and to generate hydroelectric power. The reservoir behind the dam is called Lake Havasu. The river area in front of the dam is commonly referred to as the Parker Strip. The Parker Strip narrowly passes through the Whipple Mountains of California and the Buckskin Mountains of Arizona. Ongoing water disputes between the states caused a great deal of tension during the dam's construction. On November 10, 1934, the Arizona governor dispatched 100 Arizona National Guard troops to the dam to halt construction after the Arizona Attorney General declared the construction on Arizona soil to be illegal. Arizona eventually allowed the dam's construction, but continued to dispute the water allowments for several decades. Today, the reservoir feeds the Colorado River Aqueduct, which supplies water to the greater Los Angeles area. The reservoir is also the water source for several Arizona communities. The river south of the dam goes on to provide water to several agricultural areas. Okay, on the highway towards Parker Dam. there it's the Parker Dam this is the back side of the dam holding up that reservoir people fishing down there look at that About 100 years ago that was built, or 90 years ago. There we are on the Arizona side of the Parker Dam. Huh. So, California over there. And Arizona over there. And there's the, the river. Welcome to the Parker Dam Road Backcountry Byway. The byway is a scenic route to a chain of recreational facilities and outdoor adventures along what is commonly known as the Parker Strip. The lands and waters of this rough and rocky canyon have supported a variety of lifestyles over the centuries. Today the Parker Strip serves as a playground for thousands of visitors for boating, swimming, hiking, off-highway vehicle driving, and a variety of other activities in the scenic valley. As you travel the byway, you will want to visit the roadside pull-offs to find out more about life along the Colorado River.
Damn right, Parker Dam is the deepest dam in the world. In fact, what you see is only one quarter of its 320 foot height. The other 235 feet plunge deep into the Colorado River bed. Parker Dam is a monument to the men and machines that built it between 1934 and 1938. To quench the thirst of Southern California, the Bureau of Reclamation and the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California created Parker Dam in Lake Havasu. In 1941, water began flowing out of the reservoir through MWD's Colorado River Aqueduct and into the Lake Matthews near Riverside. In 1985, Lake Havasu began supplying water for the Bureau of Reclamation's completed Central Arizona project, which conveys water 336 miles to Phoenix and Tucson. Lake Havasu now provides water for nearly 15 million people on either side of the river. Let's bury it. That's what the Bureau of Reclamation decided to do. Build most of the CAP pumping station below ground to lessen its visual impact on the environment. By contrast, the MWD's pumping station is fully exposed. Its grand structure a testament to the technology of nearly half a century earlier. Get into the heart of the Parker Dam. Simply follow the signs, you'll learn what is involved in the generation of hydroelectric energy. You'll see how the years of cooperation between the Bureau of Reclamation and the Bureau of Land Management have created the surrounding aquatic playground. And you'll better appreciate Parker Dam's role in helping sustain the economy, improving the environment, and quality of life here in the Southwest. What the heck is that? In the 1930s, during the period of construction of the Metropolitan Water District's aqueduct and the Parker Dam, the town of Crossroads developed to a population of about 2,000 to 3,000 people. The town consisted of five grocery stores, three restaurants, pool hall, barbershop, beauty shop, mortuary, bowling alley, three service stations, several garages, two used car lots, church, power plant, several saloons, several tourist cabins, and numerous residences. This is all that remains of the Crossroads Merchant Oil Company, later renamed Schwandex, the most prominent business of the community. During this time, the store also served as a U.S. post office. Operation of the store continued until 1973. Without question, living in Crossroads in the early 1930s was a rough way of life. There were few modern conveniences. Days were hot and dry. Killings were common and few were solved. While living in Crossroads, most people originally came to work in the copper mines, but the town experienced much of its growth with the building of Parker Dam. Men and women, almost all of them transients, built shacks, lean-tos, and tents for shelter at the junction where the river road crossed the highway. Mrs. Mary Schwanbeck started the Crossroad Merchandise Company in 1933. As the area's first postmaster, Mary operated the post office out of her store, later known as the Schwanbeck Store. She survived two husbands and was at home in the store until 1967 when she passed away. In the true spirit of a country merchandise, Mary's store continued to supply the area with everything from groceries and gasoline to rental cabins until 1973. Today, you can look across the street and see the walls of the old store, the last remaining structure of Crossroads. So look at that. Somebody... 
painted a rock that looked like an alien.